Hello there, Paris photo lovers. Welcome to Paris Set Me Free mini photo tutorials. I had a bit of a problem with this one. Well, first let me give you a bit of context. Do you know where it is? Well, let me tell you. It's at the uh, Fountain Saint-Michel, um, which is a popular meeting place uh, for many many people. You can often I often start my photo tours there and uh, I'll find lots of other people waiting for various reasons, tourists having their photos taken by the fountain and so on. Um, I was kind of doing this, to be honest. If I, I just go back a couple of shots, you'll see that uh, this is where I was. Lovely fountain. And uh, as I was watching my, uh, my new client friend taking some photographs, I was just looking around and saw this girl. Who, and I, I thought I would try and get the... This water was coming out of this, this uh, lion dog griffin dragon monster's mouth here you see uh, so this is actually what is in this photograph and I wanted to see if I could focus on this water and I managed to uh, kind of although I mean water moves so even though it's focused on the water uh, you can see what m this little drop is actually has actually become a line um, so but so I was quite impressed that my camera could focus on on that spout of water which made uh, the rest of it nice and fuzzy. There she is, a girl in a nice sort of purpley, purpley top. Looks like we've got a bit of a good old Parisian bin in there as well, but hey, purple and green go well together. So I had a few choices. Here's one. Uh, this is the context. This is what I saw. I saw this water and I thought, ah, interesting. I wonder if I can focus on that. There, the girl's not really doing much, and I didn't know that she was going to do anything particularly interesting. But then she mounted on this wall. Actually, she's on this wall. And she was giving this nice little pose, that's quite nice. And then there's a bit of a green Parisian bus in the background as well, with this lovely thing here, taking up the, the right-hand side of the picture and giving a certain um, sense of place. This was the next one. The bus has gone, but she's got a very nice little pose there. And there she was, going off down the wall. The shot had gone. I carried on taking some shots, you can see, uh, not not nearly as wonderful. There I bumped up the exposure to get a kind of airy, ethereal feeling to the shot. I had the idea that uh, it would be nice if I could get a bus going, so I kept on taking pictures, kept on taking them. There's a guy. Uh, now there's his legs and a the bus. There's the top of him and a bus and the water. And the question is, which is the best? I'm carrying on, just, just in case, just in case the most wonderful shot ever taken by uh, Sab Will um, at Paris Set Me Free is about to uh, to materialize. <laughs> it didn't. But so I did whatever I could with what I had. These are all quite nice but there's just nothing which really strikes me. So I'm gonna go back to to the girl. Now if you look at the shots I actually lightened the exposure there but the ones that I really liked, these ones here, were quite dark so I couldn't do anything about it you know you can't you take the shot you go home you look and you decide what you like best and if there's something wrong with it you have to decide whether it's worth saving so um in the end my choice was between these two where the girl was actually kind of doing something and the water was nice and so on there's a bus there there isn't a bus there she's got a nice little pose here there it's kind of not so coherent and look at the shape of the water you see here it's this kind of it's a bit of a um, there's not really a particularly uh, obvious shape here, whereas in this case it's got this kind of whirly bit, whirliness to it. You see there, dum 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 dum, and you know what? It almost echoes her. Look, do 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 do. You see that? Bum ba, and then the edge of her head. Look at the edge of her head there, and her shoulder, and the edge of the water there, and the shoulder, and then there you've got her her body here. And here, maybe the edge of her, her hip there, and the edge of her hip there. So you might have not, not have seen that, and having had it pointed out to you, you might think, what the hell is he talking about? But for me, it means something. So I decided to go with this one. Here's the final result. I've obviously needed... 
Well, it's a problem, really. Look, I've lightened it up because I felt that the girl herself, it was too dull, you see, it's a really mushy picture. Um, but look at the detail in the water here, and then look at the water here. I've almost lost it. Uh, it's almost gone pure white. It's a choice. You can't have everything, and I'm not going to get into trying to isolate the water and do stuff to it only, or do stuff to just the rest of the photograph. I, I draw the line at that. I'll lighten them, I'll, I'll darken them, um, possibly do some other stuff, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't got time, and I don't believe it's really part of what I want my photography to be, to go around uh, doing stuff on, you know, really, really individual sections of the photo. Not yet. Maybe I'll get more into it in the future. But at the moment, I'm looking for that that happy coincidence of the shape of the water, which kind of echoes the girl. It's all spontaneous, nothing posed. I like the colours. Nice and rich, once I've finished playing with them, <laughs> in any case. Um, my, only, my only slight disappointment is that it doesn't necessarily say that it's Paris anyway. You know, this word is too blurred. The, the, there isn't a Parisian bus going by, there's not a, a typical street sign. But you can't always have that, and you don't always need that. People, if they're on my site, they know that it's Paris, um, so they will accept it in the, in that, in the context of my work. Uh, so you can think the same to yourself. If you've decided on a theme, which is a very good idea, it can even be a large theme, as mine is, well, a city, or it can be much smaller. Uh, if it's much smaller, then you need to stick more closely to it, but my theme is Paris, so you can pretty much assume that everything you see on this site is Paris, or pretty close to it. So it's another aspect of, of, of the city. There you've got the water, actually, a, a bit of the water pouring off the edge of the fountain as well, which is nice and fills in this corner. There's someone passing by there, but I don't think they get in the way. And it's a Parisian bin, folks. You can't get away from them. I think it is anyway. So, there was a nice uh, spontaneous shot. Certain, one of those shots that you can't plan. You've just got to keep your eyes open, even when you're supposed to be doing something else. Uh, if you see something interesting, just take the shot. Or take ten of it. Who knows? It doesn't matter. It doesn't cost anything more. Digital photographs are free. And there it is. So thanks very much for visiting. See a higher quality version of this on, on the blog, parissetmefree.blogspot.com. Feel free to send your comments in, comment on the blog, and see you next time in Paris. Bye-bye. Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre. Je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris.